I saw the horses looking out into the field, and I saw this little kitten. Este caballo acaba de encontrar un gatito. He was just starving. Are you hungry? Then the pasture was stargazer, and he, had, of course, heard these cries. But then his ears and his face were like, "What is this?" I know. What is it? And I thought, I'll go get some food. And I lured him out. He kind of came running out pretty easily. And, you know, of course, I couldn't touch him or anything like that. So he started following me closer to the barn. All three horses were, like, sniffing him through the fence as to almost say, like, hey, this is a good place. You know, welcome to the herd. He warmed up to them much quicker than he warmed up to us. I was a little nervous he would get stepped on or something, but he, you know, navigated around them. He wasn't afraid of them. He spent the night with the horses, actually. He wanted to make sure he was okay, so he, he hung out outside with them that, that first night. Let's see if he's still here. Next morning when I woke up, I was really, really hoping, you know, he would still be there. There he is. It was that next day he got more and more comfortable. I have to figure something out for you, little buddy. And he would just start following us along with the barn work and he's hanging out. Just really fun to, to see how the horses interacted with him and how he interacted back with them too. He was like, yeah, these are my friends and I, this is my family and I belong here. So I knew he wasn't ever leaving. He was going to stay here. The turn up became part of the family because he just turned up. The night before we brought him into the house, Gibson was sitting on the windowsill looking out and there was turn up. And so I thought, okay, he wants it. Finally, we were able to put him in the little crate and I wanted to get him taken to the vet and to make sure he was healthy. So once we knew he was okay, we definitely kept him separate for a little while and then slowly introduced them to our two domestic cats, Gibson and, and Churchill. Turnip just waltzed into the house and kind of took over and is best friends with the cats and just hangs out and, and loves everyone that comes to visit. Just acted like he's been here from day one. Of course he has to go visit Stargazer and Nora because they were so important part of his rescue journey. I'm so grateful that he chose us and that this is how it ended up because he's just perfect and I couldn't imagine anything different now.